I'm telling you, back with the usual video. I can say about the title, our Xbox now in trouble. Now, as you all know, this this uh, Xbox Activision deal, it's been the talk of the internet for the past months. To be honest with you, it's now driving me insane. I'm getting sick of it now. I just want it over and done with. Uh, now, this is, came from a report yesterday from Politico uh, on Twitter. So, this is what they say. The, yeah, there's gonna be, there's possibly going to be a lawsuit against Microsoft to stop to stop the uh, Xbox Activision deal. So just stop it all together. I mean, just you know, but obviously what happened then is Xbox are obviously taken to court, obviously fighting all that, you know. So this is what they said: the Federal Trade Commission is likely to file an antitrust lawsuit to block Microsoft's 69 billion takeover of video game giant Activision Blizzard. According to three people with knowledge of the matter. Now, I think what they're basically trying to say there is, is that obviously they know three people who are well known to this stuff, that this is going to happen. And that's what it basically means. Now, if that does happen, wow, that's just going to be. I mean, loads of people are buzzing over the moon that Xbox are going to acquire Activision. Because obviously, all the games are probably going Game Pass and all that stuff. But if this gets blocked, this would be a major. Major um disaster for Xbox. It'd be it'd be disaster. Uh because obviously it'll stop the plans for next year and in the years ahead. And that they, they must have a plan B though. If this gets stopped, they must have a plan B. They must do. I mean they can't like get blocked and they have to go back to plan you know, then start a new plan. They must have a plan B if obviously this deal gets stopped. Now Jim Ryan the head of PlayStation. I don't think he wants this deal to go ahead at all. Never mind, you know, never mind, you know, negotiating. Jim Ryan does not want this deal to go ahead. Because he knows if PlayStation, uh, if, or play, if Call of Duty goes to Game Pass, that'll probably damage PlayStation as well. Simply because Game Pass is like, what, £10 a month, I think it is. Um, People will be saving money. The player base on Xbox will just shoot up. On PlayStation. All it's about was Call of Duty. That's it. That's all it's all about. Call of Duty. If you take Call of Duty away from this. The deal will probably go through. Easy. Or the only thing that's stopping this deal. Going through. Is Call of Duty. That's it. It might as well be called the Call of Duty deal. Like it's ridiculous. Now Xbox have said. That um. The only reason why they want this deal. Is to improve in the game and mobile industry. Which is a bit, uh, you know, it's a bit weird. But, you know, uh, so I think Xbox own, um, I forgot the name now, Candy something. They, I think the mobile game is called, oh, Candy Crush, that's the one. Candy Crush. Now, that is a very popular mobile game, which obviously Activision own. So, obviously, Xbox would own that. You know what I mean? So, that's what Xbox really want to do, Father said. Because of the mobile game industry, uh, industry to improve on that, of course. Now, Xbox admitted yesterday, believe it or not, that uh, PlayStation has the better exclusives. Let's be honest, they do. They have the better exclusives. And this is why Xbox are obviously going all out on Activision, on studios. The thing is, though, even if Xbox acquire Activision, they're still going to be way behind. It's as simple as that. Buying Activision is not going to solve the issues of Xbox. It's simply not. What Xbox need is, like I've said thousands of times, they need top class exclusive games. They need to be releasing exclusives at least three or four times a year. This year they've released zero exclusives. Well, no, they've, re they've released exclusives, but not like first party AAA exclusives. You're like, you know, a high quality exclusive. I mean, let's be honest, Pentiment, it's not everyone's cup of tea. You know what I mean? It's not my cup of tea anyway, put it that way. Um, so, yeah, the deal could be blocked. It is possible, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens as the as the story unfolds. But if this Activision deal falls through, they have to have a plan B. They have to. And what that plan B is going to be, nobody knows exactly yet. But yeah, so leave a comment below, guys. Do you think this Xbox uh, Activision deal will go through? Or do, or do you think it won't go through? So let me know in the comments. Uh, I think... I think it might go through. But, 
I think there'll be like um, roadblockers in the way, like certain conditions in the deal. For example, COD might can't be on Game Pass. Um, Active um, Sony gets like a certain amount of revenue, you know, stuff like that. Like contract negotiations, should I say? So let me know in the comments what I think the outcome is going to be. Like I said, I think it'll go through, but obviously there might be some blockages in the way. So let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, of course. Please give the video a like. Don't forget if you're new, please subscribe. You're all amazing. Take care. See you in the next video.